Hi guys, this is Melody and I am doing week seven reflections. As far as online learning at the K through 12 level, I think as long as it's used appropriately, that it's a very good thing. I think it can be very beneficial. There are certain situations and different circumstances to where it's best that the student stays home, whether you know it's an illness, a family issue, a personal issue, things like that happen. And I think it's beneficial for them to be able, you know, to stay home and do their schoolwork. Like I said, as long as it's used appropriately and the students are at the level that they're supposed to and the teacher stays on it to make sure that, you know, they're exactly where they need to be, if not further ahead. Um, I don't think it should be used as a thing that's taken lightly. Um, students should not be allowed to fall behind because of the online learning. I know a lot of times um, the students you know, aren't actually doing their work and they fall behind, things like that. I don't think that's okay. Um, for example, I have a friend that chooses to stay home and homeschool her kids. They are extremely brilliant, um, very far ahead you know, than what they would do in the public education system. And she just believes that with the help of the program that they use, that she can give her children um, a better education. And that's as a parent, you have that choice and watching her kids, you know, throughout the years and it's amazing how smart, you know, they really are. They don't use it, you know, they don't take it lightly. During the school day, you know, when everybody else is at school, they are home do it, doing their homework and things like that. Um, I think though, if the child does do online learning, I think that they should have to do extracurricular, extracurricular activities and they should be, you know, forced to socialize, you know, with other kids and other people. It shouldn't be, you know, that they stay home and play video games all day and don't socialize, things like that. Um, a lot of times when that happens, you know, the students become, you know, kind of socially awkward. And I don't, you know, like that just because they're homeschooled. Um, I think as long as they're in extracurricular activities and around other students, I think it's a great thing. Um, I do not think that it should be a requirement to graduate high school to do an online class. Online classes aren't for everyone. There are so many students that are very hands-on and do so much better in the classroom. And a lot of times you know, you know if you're a hands-on learner, if it's better when you're in the classroom. It's not for everyone, and I don't think that that should be a requirement. I think that it should be a choice. I think, you know, maybe um, it can be an option, you know, for the students to do it because some students love doing that, but it's not for everyone. So I don't think that it should be required. Um, the site that I chose um, to use this week for the learning is the Edmodo. Uh, I kind of played with Google at first and I thought it was okay and then I got on this site and I actually really liked it. The only thing that I did not like was the fact that they have to be in your district to see that. I think there's a lot of teachers, you know, in a lot of other districts um, that could help and, you know, benefit, you know, for you to see their stuff and vice versa. Um, there's a lot of other districts out there and I don't think that it should just be, you know, in your district. So I think that's, the, you know, something that they should fix. Um, it was extremely um, easy to use. We've used some other sites this semester that I think I like better, you know, as far as the assignments go and the quizzes. Um, I would use this, but I think I would probably use a few others before I did this. Uh, but I do think it's a cool little site and it was kind of fun to play around, guys. Thanks, guys. Have a good week.